YouTube. Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to talk about uh, Philips Posi Drive and JIS or Japanese Industrial Standard. Um, I was uh, taking apart a television to work on the power supply and I noticed that uh, my, uh, my trusty Wii screwdriver here uh, it wasn't seating properly. It kept uh, camming out. It kept, you know, trying to roll out of out of, out of the uh, out of the screw. So I mean, that got me basically curious of why that was happening. Because I mean, I, I thought maybe the uh, maybe the the the, the tip, uh, you know, maybe there was something wrong with the tip, but. You know, they're, they're, you know, I don't know if this thing would focus. Nothing wrong with the tip. It's almost brand new. I mean, the tip. I mean, the, the screwdriver is probably 10 or 15 years old. I've had it for quite a while. But needless to say, it uh, got me thinking. So I did some uh, research on the internet and um, came across JIS, J I S or Japanese industrial standard and it turns out that's what it was it was a gist screw um, apparently most electronics or anything that's coming from Asia is using the gist uh, screw and uh, uh, gist screws um, see if I can get this to focus I put a little There's a little dot right there. I kind of highlighted it with some red. And usually if you see that, that's a gist screw. In fact, the first time I saw the dot, I thought it was a heat treat mark because on like hex heads, uh, there's various numbers and hash marks and everything and that tells you the heat treating, tells you the, um, the strength and stuff of it. Uh, but, that being said, uh, this screw come, comes out of a, out of a, uh, you know your 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 typical computer case. It does not have the little mark in it, but it is a gist screw. Um, there's another one. Maybe. There you go. I don't know if you can see the little dimple in there. And here's another one that does not have the dimple. So not all not all the ones you know not all the gist screws have dimples. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was posi posi drive. Yeah, let's see if we can get that in there. Mm, come on. There you go. It has four little marks, one on each corner. Try to highlight that to see if you can see it. And that represents a posi drive. So far, all the posi drives I've seen do actually have the little marks on it. Um. Uh, just to give you for instance, this is a, the Philips. That's a posi drive. It just kind of wiggles. It doesn't seat properly at all. Now you get a posi drive, stick it in there, and it seats properly. It's less wiggle. It goes all the way down. It feels like it's supposed to. It sticks in there. Where Whereas the Phillips, it won't. It just falls right off. It won't. It won't. Uh, it won't seat. Same thing with the uh, gist. Doesn't seat properly. It just falls right off. You put, but you put a a gist and a gist screwdriver, and it doesn't. It barely wiggles. And I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but 
it seats properly. Yeah. Put a Phillips in there. Maybe. And it doesn't quite seat properly. You can kind of see it. It doesn't seat all the way. And a posi won't even go in there. See, I mean, it won't even go in there. Same thing with, with, with the Phillips. You, uh, that's a Phillips. I mean, that, that fits this Phillips perfectly. I mean, it, it barely wiggles. You know, it sticks to it like it's supposed to. It won't even, the posi won't, will barely go in it. There again, it's just, it does not seat. The gist, however, seats pretty well in a Phillips. You can definitely use a GIS uh, with Phillips. Okay. Kind of look at the uh, a GIS in a posi drive. See if we can get it to focus. And you can see it just it just it just does not see. It just it won't you know it just wiggles. So what does all this mean? Basically, <laughs> there's more than one Phillips. This is Phillips. It seats perfectly. Um, if you're working on Japanese electronics, you might want to invest in some GIS. If you work on motorcycles, especially Japanese motorcycles, you definitely probably want to invest and some just screwdrivers. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, uh, as far as the cruciform, meaning the cross section of the Phillips, uh, you know, I knew there was a uh, posi drive and Phillips. I, I wasn't familiar with GIS, uh, but that doesn't even cover the, the basics of a, uh, of a cruciform. Uh, just to give you an idea, I mean, there's Reed and Prince, or also known as Fierson. That's a European Phillips, for a better word. There's uh, Cellafit, there's French Recess, there's Superdrive, ACR Phillips. There's probably 20 other cruciforms that look like a Phillips. Uh, the reason why I brought this up, the other reason why I brought this up is because if you're using a Phillips in a GIS, you're probably going to strip it out. Um, in fact, that's what I saw on a lot of the motorcycle forums and stuff. People were using a Phillips on the, what they thought was a Phillips, but it's a GIS. So they, they strip it out. Um, the posi drive, you don't, you know, they, they just don't even fit in there. So you're not going to strip them out. You're, you know, you're, you, a lot of people, although we'll put a, uh, a Phillips in a posi and it will work to a certain extent, but if, if you actually put it in there and feel it, it's really, really loose. Uh, it, it'll most likely strip that out. Um, what are the other differences? There's actually quite a few. Um, uh, a posi drive, it's got a, a, a 45 degree tip. It's a blunt tip. The little wings If I can get it to focus a little bit. The little wings on this are straight from tip to the little shoulder there. Whereas on Phillips, uh, it's, it tapers. It's a little fatter down here than it is at the actual tip. Uh, GIS is supposed to be non-tapered, meaning it's, you know, the, the shoulder and the very tip are supposed to be the same width, but this one's tapered, I noticed, um, so I, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Um, the GIS is a 57 degree sharp point, non-tapered. The posi drive is 45 degrees, non-tapered. 
Uh, the Posi drive and the GIS are not supposed to cam out so much, whereas the Phillips was designed to cam out, meaning um, a lot of people have a impact driver and, you know, let's just say screwing in a deck screw and a, and a, and a two by four, you'll notice that sometimes as it's screwing in there, it pops out. That's camming out. It's designed to do that. Uh, it's to help protect you from uh, stripping out the head. Uh, once it cams out, that means it's re reached its maximum torque. Either it should be seated completely, or perhaps you need a pilot hole. Whereas the GIS, from what I've uh, uh, read, it, it's, it's supposed to cam out, but not quite as readily as the Phillips. And as I already said, the Posi drive is not supposed to cam out at all. Um, the Phillips came about in 1933. A guy named J.P. Thompson actually invented a crude cruciform of the Phillips. And in 1933, uh, Henry F. Phillips bought the rights to it and improved upon it. Um, and it's actually been improved many, many, many times. But um, by 1936, it was in almost all of automotive uh, uh, vehicle production. Uh, 1960 is when uh, Phillips invented the Posi drive. And they invented that for the aircraft industry. And they wanted something that A, wouldn't cam out and would actually, uh, they wanted it to fit in such a way that it didn't take so much torque and effort to manually insert and extract the screws out of, out of aircraft. JIS uh, comes in, as far as I know, it comes in uh, double zero, zero, one, two, and three, posi drive, is from zero to five, and uh, Phillips is triple zero, double zero, zero, one, two, three, and four. Um, I've actually never, ever, ever have seen a four anywhere. Um, I don't even know if they still make a four or not, but uh, that's what it's supposed to come by. Um, as, as, as far as the posi drive goes, um, I've only ever come across posi drive screws in electronics, and I can't remember the last time I came across a posi. It's it's been quite quite a long time. Most everything I've come across is is just. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Let me know what you think, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.